You're watching Theme Park Worldwide where we're still here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach enjoying the first ever official fan club event. So to start off we had a behind the scenes tour of Derby Racer so be sure to check it out if you haven't already seen it. Yeah it went online yesterday here on our YouTube channel. Lots of exclusive footage so make sure you check that out. In this video we're going to be going behind the scenes on Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic. I absolutely love this ride so I can't wait to go behind the scenes of it. It's a brilliant dark ride here at the park. It's actually been open for 10 years now as this ride anyway because prior to that it was the gold mine. I used to have so many fond memories of that. It actually opened in 1971. That then closed in 2011. All boarding went up around the ride. We didn't know what was happening and then of course for 2013 it was transformed into Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic and yeah there's so many details inside this ride as well. Just so much to look at so I can't wait to see it with the lights on. Yeah and that's the thing when you go on this ride and you experience it um, there's so many different scenes, so many lighting effects and lots of props and theming and sometimes you're going through really quick you don't get to see the details. No, no. In this behind the scenes tour we're actually going to be walking around the track seeing the different scenes in detail and I'm really looking forward to this. We've never done it before, it's a very exclusive event put on by the park and I've got to say it really is great to see Blackpool Pleasure Beach running these official events now. I completely agree, it's just nice to be able to go behind the scenes. It is and they've got so many historical rides here so I look forward to seeing what events they do in the future and like I say Derby Racer, uh, check that out if you've not already seen it and so uh, yeah we're going to make our way in shortly and uh, give this a, a oh, little walk through really right? It's, it's going to be brilliant I'm sure it really is and obviously I used to love the gold mine that was my far superior ride I however um, this is still fantastic I can see why they updated it um, gold mine was looking very tired but what will be quite interesting is will we see any remains of the former gold mine during yeah, this walk through the lights on you might be able yeah to you know might be a few, a few little scenes that I remember before or, um, little nuggets to that ride so we'll go inside and uh, experience this but we're really looking forward to it behind the scenes of Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and just before we head inside here's a look at the awesome facade for this attraction Wallace and Gromit at the top just there loads of movement with all the cogs spinning round as well the hand waving <laughs> I do love it lots of movement on there and yeah the ride itself is about four minutes in length with lots of different scenes and you actually sit in a slipper as you make your way around on this dark ride and yeah it's actually 275 meters long the track layout itself taking you through a number of different scenes and we're about to make our way in there now and see all of these scenes up close and personal without actually sitting in the slipper and walking around the track we're very excited and yeah let's go make our way inside <laughs> Love the interaction, Cuba is all entertained. What about Thrillomatic? <laughs> Woo! Let's go behind the scenes, track walk. We, uh, we're about to uh, embark on behind the scenes um, tour on Wallace and Robert. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Um, okay, so, um, what is it, for those of you that don't know, um, opened in April um, 2013, and Nick Park um, from Hardman um, was present. Um, this was a project between Blackpool Place Beach, Hardman, and WGH Engineering to make this ride happen, and we spent um, over £5 million on it. Um, the ride itself lasts about four minutes um, and has scenes from obviously famous um, voice and graphic films, including A Grand Day Out, The Wrong Trousers, The Close Shave, and The Curse of the Were Rabbit, and The Matter of uh, Loaf and Death. The track um, is about 902 feet long. You're going to get to walk the entire track. Um, this ride, hopefully, um, if you really want to pen how old you are, but if you're old as me, you'll remember when it was a gold mine um, ride. Hey! It actually opened in 1971 and then closed um, in uh, 2011. And um, the Wallace and Gromit ride runs on the same layout um, as, as that ride. Um, and then there are some relics um, of the old gold mine, not me, um, in, inside the ride. Um, bizarrely, there's an Indiana Jones frozen in carbonite. Um, inside the ride, which you'll get to see, um, hidden away in there, which was in the original ride. Um, and there's also, I've uh, been told not to say this by the I was trying to look into a frenzy before, but my favourite bit of the ride is the bread smell, but it's fake, 
um, comes from a smell pot, um, and so no actual bread has ever been baked inside the smell. Oh, oh no. it smells so good. This is why you're here to see behind the scenes. <laughs> All right, like on the Derby Racer, um, and as um, I've told us that it's a bit more important, but it is important that we have to do the safety um, side of this as well. We're going to take you in, in groups, you're going to be in smaller groups. Um, which will become very obvious why when we start walking through the ride. Um, so if you're not in the first group or the second group or whatever, then please be as patient as possible and hopefully the payoff will be um, the walk through um, when you get to it. We will get to all of you, um, so don't worry. And um, like me, you will have to wear a helmet um, during this and we are going to um, provide those um, for you in a second. Um, and once the Grubbish ride layout um, is complex, it's enclosed, um, it has uneven surfaces, it has down and up sections, there's enclosed spaces, there's darkness, there's low ceilings. It sounds terrible. Um, <laughs> potential Can't fall wait. hazards, potential trip hazards, and there's even a wear rabbit. <laughs> um, so you need to be aware of these risks and follow the direction of the staff that are going in with you. You will be accompanied at all times, there'll be a member of staff at the front, and a member of the staff at the rear of each group. We are here for your safety. Any problems, any issues, or whatever, you just let one of those two members of staff that with you know. Here we go then, it's got my hard hat on just here. Really looking forward to this behind the scenes track walk of Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic. Here we go, gonna be great. Here we go. Here we go. Are you excited, Charlotte? Oh, uh, yeah, look great with your hard hat on just there. Charlotte's the official photographer. Yellow edges on a lot of these. I love how the on-ride photo is just snapping as well as we come past. Yeah. We can until all the biscuits and crackers, we know how many there are. Oh, look at this, it's weird already seeing it with the lights on just here. And so this is the track itself. And yeah, obviously the orange is where the electricity comes through just there. All the speakers, show lighting straight away. You don't realise how big this opening scene is just here. Look at this. Yeah, we've got the hard hats on for our safety. So we're making our way around. Look at this. So many like little details. Blackpool delights. Uh -huh. Love that. All the books just down there as well. Crackers. Yeah. The globe just there. <laughs> <laughs> great opportunity to get some close-up photos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. Obviously, so just watch your feet, particularly halfway down, where there are some um, gaps where you can put your feet through, and I don't want to put your feet through. <laughs> There we go, round towards the drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big curtain there. Yeah, it's a big drop here, Look at this. <laughs> There's just so many like props and details that you don't realise. So of course this is normally all in the dark just here. This is the drop. Yeah, the lights go. I love how all the walls are still themed, even though when you're in show conditions, all that comes on is the little lights at the side. And here's the drop. <laughs> It's quite a long drop actually, isn't it? Instead of being too steep, it's, it's really quite long. All the way down here. Oh wow, look at this. I'll never see it the same again now when we ride it, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a look back up the drop. Coming down just here. <laughs> the scene just down here as well. Oh wow, this is quite something seeing this. Down here at the bottom of the drop. And obviously a lot of the walls and things here, you know, kind of throw back to the old gold mine. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, like a lot of this rock work, you know, dates back to them kind of gold mine times. But like Andy said, there's some other little parts in here from the old gold mine that we may see along the way. Oh, look at this. There's so many like little props down here that you wouldn't necessarily see in show conditions. It was a pr pretty big drop, what's that? Maybe 20 foot drop down there through the track? And this is really cool. Some of the plans all on here as well, all the blueprints. You always see them when you come past on the ride. The <laughs> They're really cool to see. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, when you're on the river caves, you're actually underneath this section here as well. And it was all kind of blocked in when they changed it from gold mine into Wallace and Gromit. So nice just to walk around here and appreciate all of these seams. You don't realize how much there is. Yeah, like all the blueprints down here, the bits of wood, the paint down there, stuff that you wouldn't normally see because you go in here quite fast. Ah, okay, yeah, you can actually see another group just up there walking through. All kind of built on top of each other. That's what I love about Pleasure Beach, the kind of different layers of the park and how much they fit into quite a small site here. I love how it says, win a trip to Blackpool Pleasure Beach on there as well. You don't normally see that as clear when you're on the ride, you know, just there on the, is that on the cornflakes just there? <laughs> yeah, win a trip. <laughs> It's like here you don't realise that there's an empty scene here because it's dark in between. You wouldn't know, would you, Charlotte? Like, you wouldn't expect it, would you? Because it's dark. Hat really suits you there, Charlotte. <laughs> Some of the electrics there. Yeah, you just wouldn't wouldn't realise. Obviously, there's an evacuation platform all the way round that we're walking round here as well. All the sensors. So obviously, these are to kind of space, make sure the cars are all spaced out and obviously some may trigger effects and things as well. Different sensors around the ride. You actually see outside there, a little bit of coming in from one of the other scenes. Just over there. Um, so guys, what you'll notice is that there's a big difference between when you're on the ride and you have lighting and animation and so on, and when you're walking through the ride with none of those things on. And it actually makes a big difference in the ride, how it's timed, how the lighting's set off, how the sound effects are set off. As you saw before, it's on top of us, but as you get to here, things you don't notice because of the direction of travel, if you look back on yourself through here, you can see when you get parked up to where I am now, you can see a later section of the ride just through that canvas there. Ah, ah there you go. Fascinating. It's amazing what the eye doesn't see, isn't it? Kind of, you know, when you're not looking, obviously you focus on the next scene, what's coming up, and yeah, there's some of the track through there. Like you would never know, would you? You know, unless you'd seen it like this, and obviously it's normally quite dark in these tunnels. Yeah, and obviously a lot of this rock work, like I say, kind of dates back to the old kind of gold mine days. Great scenes. You used to go on the ride, you might remember the cave scene in the river caves, there was a barn for this and it used to come over the top of it. It was boxed in for this ride. It used to all be open and there was a restaurant in there as well, a chicken restaurant. You could come and sit and watch the River Coast boats go past and the, um, the gold mine cars come past, but now it's all boxed in. One reason I'm telling you about it though is because it, the part of the structure hangs from the ceiling, you'll find there's lots of struts coming down, so please watch where your feet are going, all right? Will do. <laughs> Yeah, we've always got them kind of fond memories, you know, of river caves and looking down at the, in the old restaurant there at the side and gold mine as you made your way down here. Yeah, there was kind of like a balcony with the restaurant and fascinating. Obviously, the river cage runs directly underneath this. So this is kind of like the scene where you've got like all the, all the stars in the ceiling. This is so cool. There's a look at the scene down there. My favourite scene in the ride, this obviously, with the aeroplane coming over here, kind of on a big arm from the back, just over there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can actually still see here where you used to be able to sit. Oh my God, so many happy memories as a kid. Like, sitting on down there and obviously in the old restaurant, looking out into this. Comment down below if you remember that. All the clouds up there, and I don't even notice you went through doors here. Preston's dog food up there. Make our way round into the next scene just here. Some massive props in here. And you go through these quite fast. I love how the conveyor's still going over there as well. All the movement on here, and just like all the, the lettering on here. Yeah, like you just don't see these things, do you? you know? like this is amazing, especially like looking back and you know how immersive this ride actually is. Like, fascinating, it really is, just to come and see all this. 
So guys, um, we have what's called a team of animations, a permanent team of animations at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. They're part of the engineering and paint shop um, department and they look after all stuff like this to make sure it's all in working order and all of their check happens before the park opens. The ride then gets handed over to operations. We then do a secondary animations check to check everything's working um, and then we do a trial run so the guys that work on the ride get to ride the ride every day um, and that all happens before the ride opens to the public. All right. In a moment we're going to go into the bit where you'll realise why you're wearing helmets. Right? <laughs> And considering the age of the ride system, obviously a lot of changes were made when it had that changeover from gold mine into Wallace and Gromit's Dolomatic. Yeah, this is why we've got the helmets on. <laughs> I like how Andy's got a Mac Ride helmet on as well. <laughs> This is brilliant. One of my favourite Blackpool Pleasure Beach moments, coming here and seeing this. Behind the scenes of an attraction is always really special, but especially one with so much history. Oh, right. Look back there, quite a big drop. Don't realise actually how, how big that is, and that's the thing, it does kind of, you know, it's got very kind of coaster style elements, hasn't it, with this. It's not just a flat track dark ride. This is where we smell the bread. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the many awesome scenes in this ride. And that's the thing with Wallace and Gromit, you know, and the kind of storyline of it. There's so many like quirky and funny moments, isn't there, as well? And this is one of those funny moments just over here that's ongoing. It's like in like the pictures and things up there, you know, you just don't, you don't see them at first, you don't spot them. There we are. I will make the I'll make the trek. Like nuts and bolts, like all the flour, like the bags and things down there. Things that you just don't see, you move that fast. And obviously when the slippers are coming round, you know, you're not going to look straight down because you're looking up at all the scenes here. I want to go to Swansea because they've got the only Denny's in the UK, I think. Oh, I love Denny's. Yeah, <laughs> completely different now. <laughs> Denny's, oh, so good. <laughs> All sensors down there. There's so many different elevations in this, and that's the thing, you know. The river caves, you've got the tunnels that they use for journey to Hull Free Nights under here as well. So much all built in this area, so much history. And see, all this is padded. <laughs> Quite low down. There she is. This is fantastic. What an experience. What an experience this is. And to be able to film it all and take you along for this as well. Oh, it's nice yeah, a lot of these sections really dark in here now. Obviously, when it was the gold mine, there was a lot more props and like little animatronics and things around. <laughs> here we go. So there's one of the sensors. So that probably activates the next scene just here. Obviously, when you go past it, you see it flashes, and that'll activate the animations inside the next scene. Probably my favourite scene in the ride. This one actually. There's lots going on. All the roof all themed up there as well. I take it this is a sprinkler system, is it, what, what runs through, yeah. Yeah, it's a complicated building, yeah. 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 Before, because Looking we've out. got multiple rides, because yeah. three rides share this building, plus uh, um, obviously a bar and a shop, um, and the tunnels that we use for access, but we also use at Halloween as well. So there's a lot going on in one building here. Uh, this is a bit from the wrong trousers. The um, uh, the jewel, before you, you ask, is glued down. <laughs> <laughs> What's your head here, guys? Yeah. Never noticed that down there before. Meat a bit dog food. <laughs> I do love this. I've seen, there's so much going on in this scene. Like, I've just never noticed like these little things on the wall and like, the fact the hatch is open there. I do really like this scene. <laughs> All the props in the cabinet there as well. Okay, nice selfie there. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate selfie. <laughs> kind of looks like a train track, doesn't it? When you look at it, like, like sleepers, like kind of underneath. Yeah. Yeah. This bit's the tunnel where all the rabbits uh, pop out. <laughs> 
Love that. Or so you get the little noise of wee wee. <laughs> there they all are in the holes. Oh, yeah. All around here. There you go. Obviously, when you come past, they pop out. A light shines on them. There they are. Have a good sleep. <laughs> sensors down there. I love looking up to the tech, you know, behind the ride as well, especially when it's something with so much history. And this is why we had a hard hat on. <laughs> yeah, very close to all this. You know, this isn't like polystyrene, this is, you know, real stuff. What I really appreciate with this ride, as much as I always loved Goldmine, they put in a lot of theming when they did the re-theme. It wasn't one of them where they took stuff out and didn't replace it. They put in a lot of scenes, and you look at how low the ceilings are in here, to even bring in like a car like this into um, quite a small building. Ow, <laughs> that's why we got a hard hat on. <laughs> you know, it is amazing. I've never noticed them down there either. Obviously they pop up. That's the thing, because then you're distracted by the scene on the right, you know. It is really cool. Obviously all these different fire exits around the ride. This is obviously where the train goes round at the top. The little train goes in a little circle just round and round. And then when we go around the corner you'll also get to see how we access it to do maintenance on it. Ah, awesome. Pictures on the wall. And again, you wouldn't really look up here and see that it's not themed because obviously you're focusing forwards on the, on the train just there. Some pictures. The, obviously the rocket from one of the early scenes in the ride and again more kind of remains from gold mine that you don't necessarily see because you're in the darker scenes and yeah you can see the different layers like you can see down there through the gaps all of the scenes in the ride there's a cool effect obviously coming down across just here All your show lighting up there as well, of course, big part of a dark ride, show lighting and audio. Then we uh, have the old bit of the gold mine. Oh! Uh, Indiana Jones frozen in the here, which you don't see when you're on the ride. But, oh, that's amazing. Uh, what a throwback. Oh, I love that. That brings back some memories. Oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> So many smaller details. That's the thing, one minute you're looking left, one minute you're looking right. These different scenes. You don't even really notice that this is empty when you're on the ride either. Oh, and there it is. Look at that, Indiana Jones. Oh, that is brilliant. Throwback to Goldmine. You don't see this on the ride. You've got the lantern there as well. Oh, no sheep beyond this point. Is Sean the sheep allowed? I don't know. <laughs> Ah, there we go. The little train circle. When the lighting is right and show lighting's on, all of this stuff just disappears. Yeah. You'd think that was actually a proper wall along there, wouldn't you, when you're on the ride, not just a like a curtain. Obviously, that's the thing. You're really clever with lighting in here because they, they only light up these, and you wouldn't know. There's literally there is the train going round. No, you think that was a proper. A proper wall, there you go, and there's the actual train parts up. That's why you realise why lighting is just so important in an attraction. Yeah. Get the lighting right, you don't see anything else. Oh, definitely, you know, like it really, you know, it's not very glamorous at all when you see it like this, but, you know, when you're on here, it's so immersive. Some of these props are huge as well, you really don't realise when you sat in the slipper. If you want a photo with Wallace and Gromit, that's fine, but we are going to cut through this little bit here, all right, guys? There we go, and there's Wallace and Gromit in one of the final scenes of the ride just here. Obviously, you head around the truck that way and end up around on this side. I know they've updated Just over here. here. It's one of the rides that we always keep dabbling with. Yeah. We, we it the car. Obviously, in through into the maintenance area. This is the one part of the ride I'd love to see a few more props. You know, it always feels a bit blank just with the screens there as well. Way that that slides across. Uh -huh. Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah, track switch just down there, there as well. The, hey. the big jump scares you come around here. Little gnome there as well. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> it's massive as well. And again, when you're on the ride, you don't necessarily realise how big it is because you do come through pretty fast. But that is awesome. <laughs> You don't realise how much banking there is on the track as well until you come and 
sit with the lights on, you know, kind of tilt him round. Brilliant. <laughs> and here's the slippers, just here as well, all parked up. And this is Charlotte's favourite scene in the ride, I, I think, isn't it? Oh, you really, what do you like about this scene I so much? I love how he's holding loads of cheese. Loads of different cheese. I'm going to take a nice photo of you. Selfie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you love him. <laughs> he's got all sorts of cheese there. Big cheese, small cheese, and a cheesy grin just over here. Really like <laughs> <laughs> I do love the slippers on this. When we get down all the padding. Really TV sticking out with a really sharp corner on it, so just be really careful as you go past it. There we go. They don't realise how high this ceiling is in here either. That's the thing, lighting and what they're doing, the show conditions. Brilliant. More pictures down here that again you come past pretty quick. And the final scene of the ride. I like all these props and scenery over here. You see the wheels down there as well. Oh, that was absolutely brilliant. There's the TV that Andy said about. <laughs> That's why we got hard hats on though. That was, that was brilliant, absolutely, oh, what an experience, so unique. Well, that was absolutely awesome, even got a nice certificate here as well, with the Pleasure Beach Fan Club logo, and thank you for participating in the Grand Day Out, 26th of March 2023, a first experience of the Pleasure Beach Fan Club, oh, I love that. Yeah, that was great. Absolutely brilliant, that was. It took us like 15, 20 minutes to walk through the ride. Like, oh, that was amazing. They didn't rush us through. Loads of time for photos. It was really nice. It was just so much time. It wasn't rushed. It was fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad we came and would definitely recommend for the Pleasure Beach fan club events. And of course, with it being an exclusive event and fan club by Blackpool Pleasure Beach, they're also selling some exclusive merch that is only available during this as well. So you've got the hoodie there, we've already got the lanyards that they gave us. These mugs are nice, aren't they? Yeah, quite nice. Look at those, have we got any, any prizes on these? Yeah, I can't see yeah, can't see. Water bottles there as well. Yeah, very nice. Exclusive stuff just there. Merchandise for the event. Well, there we have it, our first event here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and their first time holding it. And I tell you what, it's been absolutely fantastic. That tour around Wallace and Gromit's Philomatic was amazing. One of the best things I've ever done at Pleasure Beach. I have to say, the park has done an absolutely fantastic job. Everyone has enjoyed it so much and bring on more events is what I can say. Definitely. They've got so much history here and so much to show off. And especially the dark ride like that, that, you know, you're going through, there's some amazing scenes and to be able to walk through, take as many pictures and videos really? as you want. Want to. It really is a special memory. Who knows when, if ever, we'll get to exactly, do that again. Oh, honestly, that was absolutely brilliant. Of course, Andy was a brilliant tour guide really as well. Um, so thank you to Andy for taking us around. That was amazing. Of course, putting the hard hats on for safety. Um, walking around there, there's some quite big elevations in the ride. You don't realise like how steep it is at some yeah. points, and some stuff you just miss when you're going on the ride. So next time we go on, I'll be keeping a close eye as we go round. I thought the drop near the start of the ride, you know, after that first scene, was steeper but not I as long. It However, it's not that steep, but it goes on for longer than I thought. Long. Yeah, along with that as well, some of the other scenes, seeing the areas, you know, where you used to be able to sit in the old cafe. I don't know if you Which remember really, that. I but, never saw um, it back there. in the day, you could sit there, watch the river caves coming past the boats, uh, and then look at the gold mine. Uh, so that brought a lot of childhood nostalgia for me, um, seeing that again. I've got a lot of happy memories from my childhood coming here to Pleasure Beach, and seeing that was great. And the little throwback in there as well, to gold mine, an actual prop still in there with the lantern as well. Like you would never know that that was there on the right. It really goes to show how important it is to get the great lighting and audio but especially lighting for a dark ride because you go in there it's really not glamorous at all no, is it not, you know but obviously with the lighting <laughs> it makes such a yeah, big difference it does indeed and that's the case with any dark ride you go on something like the ghost train you go on Valhalla you know all, you, you know it. lighting on there really has the experience and audio of course but I loved how we kind of saw everything uh, about that ride like you know you could ask any questions along the way as well and they're absolutely brilliant and we've got a lovely certificate as well oh, really nice we really like absolutely these. awesome thanks to Pleasure Beach Thank for holding this so event. Much. £25. It's been amazing. And like I said, if you haven't already, make sure you check out yesterday's video where we had a behind the scenes tour of Derby Racer underneath the ride itself, um, which was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. But uh, this was even oh, better, wasn't I absolutely it? Loved it? Yeah, this was great. We love the ride. So it was really nice to be able to see it behind the scenes and, of course, take you guys all along as well. But stay tuned. We're part of the fan club now. You can be too. It's free to sign up. And, of course, stay tuned for future events the park are doing. We'll definitely be coming to more. Oh, 
oh, and we look 100%. forward to seeing what they do. I cannot wait to see. Definitely. If you haven't already as well, make sure you check out our main vlog from the opening weekend here at Pleasure Beach, getting back on all of our favourite rides and the latest updates. And the next time we'll be back in this park, we should be riding Valhalla. I know, it should be open. <laughs> We're so excited for it. They keep hyping it up. And you know what? We are so excited to get back on that ride. It's going to be epic. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. We'll see you all in the next vlog.